Unreal Engine 5 has a command line method for converting world composition maps to the new world partition system. World composition and world partition have similar capabilities and limits. World partition, however, is designed for team developers who have individual file per asset requirements. The Unreal Editor user interface is also different between the world composition and world partition systems. To use the world composition to world partition conversion method in the Unreal Engine 5 editor, you should have a high-end computer system with a fast processor and a lot of RAM memory. I recommend a newer fast processor and 32 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes of memory, depending on the map size that you are planning on converting. The conversion method code appears to be single-threaded, CPU-bound, and terribly unoptimized, and also with high memory use requirements. The world composition to world partition conversion process requires that the projected map that is to be converted be specified in a command line argument to the Unreal Editor. You will find it easier to create a text file with the editor path and conversion command line text that you need and simply copy and paste that into the command prompt app. To start things off, take note of the directory path to the Unreal Engine 5 editor executable called unrealeditor.exe and the project to be converted. A typical path to the Unreal Engine 5 editor would be something such as e epic games ue5 engine binaries win64. A typical path to the project to be converted would be something such as e projects my project my project .u project. You will also need the name of the specific world composition map that you want to convert, such as my map. You do not need the map file extension though. Create the command line argument in the format of the following. Such as the following. You can change the C output text path to be the same data drive as the editor and project. It simply pipes the output from the conversion into a text file so that you can easily check for errors after it has finished. I have included example command prompt text in the video description that you can simply copy and paste and then edit for your specific computer's drive letters and folders. Run the Windows command prompt app in administrator mode. If you have Windows 10 set to show command prompt on the start menu, you can right click on the Windows menu logo and choose command prompt admin. When you're greeted with the command prompt window and cursor, if your Unreal Editor is on a drive other than the default C drive, type in the drive letter followed by a colon and then enter, such as E colon enter. Change to the Unreal Engine 5 editor folder by pasting in the path that you took note of earlier using Control V, such as E Epic Games UE5 Engine Binaries Win64 and press Enter. You should now be in the Unreal Engine 5 Win64 folder. Copy and paste the command line argument text that you created earlier, such as the following. Wait for a minute and the Unreal Editor command line window will pop up on screen and start executing the command line argument for the conversion. The time to convert will depend entirely on the number of tiles and the size of the tiles in the world composition map. If the editor command line window disappears immediately, check the output text file to see the results of the logging of the process to see if there were any errors. On my R9-5950X, ASUS ROG X570, 128GB, RTX 3080, NVMe and SSD computer, a 32km by 32km, 1024km2, 32x32 tile, 1009x1009 tile size map, it took 26 hours and 15 minutes to convert. 
To convert a world of this size also requires a computer with 64 gigabytes of memory minimum, as 46 gigabytes of memory was used during the conversion process. A 16 kilometer by 16 kilometer, 256 square kilometer, 16 by 16 tile, 1009 by 1009 tile size map took 51 minutes to convert on my computer and required 12 gigabytes of memory. So a fast computer with at least 16 gigabytes is required. The Unreal Editor conversion code algorithm must be really badly optimized because it only uses 3 to 5% of CPU, 0% GPU, and 0% disk while performing the rather lengthy conversion. Even if the conversion is mostly memory bound, the low processor usage shows that it's not performing a lot of functions at any one time. So expect to wait a long time for the conversion process to complete. Launch the Unreal Engine editor, open the map that you just converted, and make sure that the world partition system on it is functioning properly. I personally ran into issues where cells were not being rendered correctly, so I had to simply create the map right within world partition instead of converting.